First, finding out the blue corner, he's trained out of South City. He weighed in at 72.2 kilograms. This is his debut. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Quillen Salki. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He's training out of South Shard MMA. He weighed in 72.6 kilograms with a fight record of one fight for one win. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Garrett Misuda. Both are very relaxed. And here we go. Eternal MMA 37. We bring you right now. Garrett Misseldeen versus our man Quillen. Big push kick to start the contest. And again, another push kick. Garrett really looking for that range finder. Kick from Quillen. Trading kicks at the moment, just feeling each other out. And another push kick. Oh, misses with that high kick. What are you making of the fight so far as a star? What are you making of Look, the opening They're both just feeling each other out right now. Trading kicks. Quillen, uh, sorry, Garrett has gone on that body kick six or seven times and he's had some success. Yeah, he looks very relaxed and he's caught that kick again. And the thing is, when I see fighters do this, when I see fighters throwing the same kick over and over again and then getting counted for it over and over again, you want to see them adjust what they're doing and not just go on auto cue and just do the same things over and over again. That's how you lose a fight. That's how you get taken down. That's how you get ground and pounded. You can lose an entire round doing that. Oh, now. looking for the... Ooh, yeah. Good takedown there. a good takedown there. He's looking for a... It looks to me as if he's that's trying to get his hand together for a dart. Yeah, that's what I thought yeah. he was going for. Yeah, I think he is going for a dart. Yeah, you know. he is. He's, he's on the wrong side. Yeah. He's just on the wrong side, and he's a little bit too high. And he's been mounted. And he's, yeah, he's in danger of being mounted. He's looking like he's going to get the sweep. What we'll needs to be done is need to add all... Oh, excellent. Garrett stands up. Garrett excellent. does look like the bigger fighter in there. Yeah, he does look he a is. little bit physically more imposing. Yeah. He's a little bit bigger. He's a little bit more powerful. Both fighters seem very relaxed though, which is, like, I like that, I like to see, that, and it's both debut, but both of them seem to be enjoying themselves, and getting the feel for the fight and getting themselves in there. Another quality contest put together by Engage, you very rarely see any mismatches in this promotion, it's just straight quality. Oh, oh big excellent, guy excellent, excellent, and there's a shot. Guys, excellent shot, his head's pushed right down right now, so he's struggling with the takedown, but he he's gets pushing it. for it, he's up against the wall. Good wall walk by Quillen there. Quillen, Quillen just needs to push the head down. He needs to push the head down. He's looking for the underhook. The problem is, is again, as always, I see this consistently. You get it, but it's up against the body. You are not going to raise a fight up a level by doing that. You need to take it from the elbow. This is one of your pet hates, isn't it, oh, You do not like it at all. all. Because you're trying to lift the guy's whole body, and his head's also in between your legs. This is not going to work. You need to be up against that elbow, and then you can raise the fight up a level. That's what gives you look. He's trying his absolute hardest to do it, and he's not getting anywhere. It is systematic and a, a bit of a he's weakness. He's looking for that guillotine choke. He's looking for the guillotine. He's under the he's chin. He looks like he's struggling a little he's bit. He's underneath the chin. Can he get his hands together? He's taking them down. Now, he Garrett needs to go. fight the hands. Garrett needs to fight the hands. Fight the hands. Get those hands off his neck. Yeah, I would have liked to see his feet. full guard there to finish that choke. Oh, oh, he's looking, he's looking back. to take his back. He's Great scramble. Garrett he's in the mount. Oh, he's into mount now. Can he finish? Garrett is looking to use strength to get out of there. Ten seconds left in this round. And Quillens is just looking to edge ahead on the cards here. I don't think he's going to get the finish, but he's definitely going to edge ahead just by a miss. Good position, and he lands some quality oh. ground the palm there. Quality ground the palm. I may just edge him ahead on the judges' scorecards. I agree. Definitely good finish there. Oh, I think the Jones brothers actually started at Spear, though, no Jones, before they moved across to Ramel. Okay, so they do okay. have a little bit of experience in, in training MMA fighters, and apologies if you have a more experience than I've uh, led on. But uh, it's, not, it's the first time we've seen one of your fighters in the cage, so... That's all right. We look forward to seeing them again. Exactly. Many, many more times. And we are in for round two. We have Garrett Misseldeen versus Killen Sackett. And what has been an engaged and absorbing first round. What do you want to see from Garrett in this round? That is pretty, pretty much, much what you yeah, want to see. Yeah, yeah. Walk forward, throw <laughs> those big shots, stay away from the cage, and uh, look to put the pressure on Quillen. Don't let his technique override you. You have the strength advantage. Yeah. Quillen looks like he's much more comfortable in the pocket, doesn't he? He looks like he's happy to stay in the pocket, trade and then let his grapple and let his jiu-jitsu shine through as well as his wrestling technique. Again, in training with Ramel, you know, they're gonna, those guys are going to spar hard. They're going to go heavy. He's going to be with the Jones brothers every day. He's used to being in those uncomfortable positions, so Garrett needs to put him there. 
and not let him get his rhythm, because if he gets a rhythm, oh, oh big right good hand. Punch. Well, I was just going to say if that punch landed, I really want Cullen to bite down on his mouthpiece. He's got his mouth wide open. Again, if you face a striker of any quality, There's if you that do shot. that, you will get punished for it. You absolutely get punished. And very much as a guarantee, your jaw will be sore the next day. Garrett's looking for that anaconda choke again. He's looking for it twice. He likes to just slowly slide that head underneath the neck. And look, he's gone for it again. And he's out. Yeah, it's a, it, that, that it's under, a difficult one. That it's underhook is also a traditional wrestling kind of underhook. Yeah. Basically, when you get over the top of somebody's head, you can use it to snap down and control their ability to come back to the service, come back to standing. Uh, I think that's what we're saying. Because he's just... He's not aggressively pushing for that bass because he could actually get, if he could get his hands together, he could actually do that. He's got an opportunity to do it and he's just he's just not taking it. So I think more than anything else, he's looking for that wrestling control, which makes sense if this is a Jones Brothers fighter. Yeah. I would like to see. Bruce leaving his head in there a little now bit too he's much for my liking. For the Dars. The Dars now he's looking through that. Oh, but Cullen shows good, good control. He took his time. He didn't rush. And he pulled that bicep down. He pulled the arm down. That was on the bicep, taking the pressure away from the Dars. Good strikes. Good interchange by both fighters. Cullen looks a bit tired now. Like you said, their mouth is hanging open. And Gary looks a little bit fresher. He does. He's still concentrating. He's still fresh. Just a little bit of lack of quality on the strikes. They're very, very aggressive, but very powerful. Oh, oh nice that was a good psychic. attempt. That was a good psychic attempt. When they land, they suck the soul from you. They absolutely take the life out of you. Good body kick, good return. I would have liked to have seen a sweep there. I would have liked to have seen an attempt at a sweep. But yeah, that was a good riposte. Tell us a new tie back round there for Garrett. Good combination. Gary just needs to keep that chin down when he comes forward. Gary seems a pressure fighter. If he keeps his pace up, he can steal this round. Yeah, and we could be looking at one round apiece. I think the one round apiece right now, I think Garrett's being more aggressive. He's come forward. Cullen's kind of set back a little bit. He's thrown combinations, but he's not really come. He's not landed any significant, real significant oh, strikes or damage. Good combination. good combination by Gary. Excellent combination. Cullen's looking tired. His mouth is wide open. He's now got blood coming from his nose. I give that one round apiece. I agree. Seems to still be as he was in the first round. Let's hope he can do that in the third, and then we'll have a really, really interesting finish to this fight. Yeah, we've definitely got a very good fight here. It's very close, very evenly matched. <laughs> Let's go. Here we go. Big right hand from Quillen. This fight's getting me excited. I'm pumped for the rest of this card. Oh, good push kick. Excellent push kick from Garrett there. An excellent jab too. Stop Quillen in his tracks. He's starting to slip as well. Yeah, the booze are coming up underneath the left eye of Quillen right now. That's from the jabs that are being landed. I've been impressed. I've been impressed by the hands of Garrett Mistletoe. I think he's got good hands. That chin does come up from time to time. But I tell you what, he's got power in those hands right now. Killen just needs to keep that chin down, keep his chin down, keep his hands up, keep looking for combinations, and look for that. I would be looking for the takedown. Yeah, really when, would be when Garrett for the steps in with that jab, he should be looking at double leg straight and he, underneath that. And he's very, very high too. Like Garrett is so, so, in fact, both fighters, both fighters are standing so, so high. There's no thought about takedown defense oh, whatsoever. Oh, big body kick. This is basically, basically a Muay Thai fight. A, a Muay Thai fight with there's a takedown shot. And there's a takedown shot. That's what we've been looking for. Can Quillen take him down? He's got his legs spread wide. As I said, the ideal defense to this is to turn both feet facing the same way. So it's very, very hard to keep the legs as wide as possible. He's got his so hands locked. Can he take the takedown? He's looking. Can he get underneath? Can he lift him up? Garrett needs to look to get an underhook. He's not looking to do that right now. He's not looking to take his right arm and take that underhook on the, on the side. That's what he needs to do to stop this position. I think Quillen's gassing here. I think he is too. He's looking for the single leg now. He's taking the single leg. He just needs to raise his head as he looks to take that sweep there, which he's not doing. And it's not really an attempt at... Yeah, he's looking for that single leg takedown. There we go. He needs to raise himself up. He needs to get his head on the outside. If he get his head on the outside or his foot against the cage as he lifts that leg, he might get a trip. But and right now, that's not connected his hands again. I like to see some chain wrestling. Go from that single back to that double without going back to the cage. I think he's Garrett's tired. Very, yeah, Garrett's he's very tired. heavy on him. Being a stronger fighter, this is definitely going to tire Quillen out. But if he can get it to the floor, he can start to dominate. Even There's that single leg again. No, I think you need to let go of that double and look for that single leg. 
go to the single, go to the end of the lever, go onto the ankle, lift the lever up from there, do something unexpected, he's so close to his body right now. That's it, now move away, move down to the ankle and pull up. There you go. Oh, Gareth's throwing some good strikes, he's oh. looking, looking to try and make a pay for this. Can Quillen take this eye down? He's taking a he's lot cut, of punishment. He's cut he's underneath the eye. He's taking a lot of punishment to get to that point. And Gareth's now got him up against the fence. He's looking, he has it. Quillen's got the underhook. Under Can he lift him up? He needs to lift him up. I just think that extra weight is making all the difference. Yeah. That extra strength. It's very imposing. Yeah, you can see the size move. difference here. It's just making a difference. We're into the last 10 seconds. I have got to give this round right now to Garrett. I've got to give this round to Garrett and I've got him up 2-1 on the scorecard. And there's a trip attempt. He's looking to take that. After three rounds, we head to the judges uh, for a decision. Uh, all three judges score it 29 uh, to 28 for your winner by unanimous decision out of the red corner. Garrett Mesuda. As expected, the decision is tight. It's very, very close. But we have two rounds to one. Unanimous decision by the judges. The pressure, he figured him out. He figured out what he was doing wrong there. Adjusting his fight, his, his, his tactics a little bit, and he comes away with the win. And it's well, well deserved. Very, very well.